Good afternoon. Welcome to Talking Cafe Live. Today is Wednesday, the 20th of April, and my name, for those who don't know me, is Lauren Giddens. I am the locality manager for the Sedgemore Village and Community Agents. And today I am joined by Marina and Kerry from Swish. So this isn't a topic that we've covered in Talking Cafe before. I think it's something that's really important that we do cover um, as it affects most people living in Somerset. So ladies, I'm not going to claim to be an expert and I'm just going to hand the floor straight over to you if that's okay. Thank you very much, Lauren. So yeah, my name's Kerry. This is Marina. Hi. We work for SWISH, which is Somerset's wide integrated sexual health service, which has been integrated since 2016. Um, we're both nurses within the service. Um, if, I, if we talk quickly about what the service offers, um, so we manage all um, sexually transmitted infections from um, straightforward chlamydia infections to more complicated ones. Um, and recurrent STIs, um, we manage contraception, so all methods of contraception, um, be it long acting pills or um, barrier methods. We provide pre and post um, prophylaxis treatment, so PEP and PrEP for HIV. Um, we um, do psychosexual counselling. We offer vaccinations for um, certain high-risk groups or certain groups, so hepatitis A, B and HPV. Um, we've got really good online testing through our um, website as well as condoms by post. And um, the team that we both work for, the Target Outreach team, do a lot of outreach work to people in the community to access sexual health services and um, um, service advice and support. So Marina is a our young person's nurse, so she tells you a bit more about what she does. So hi everybody, I'm Marina and I'm one of the young person's nurse for SWISH. I'm part of the Targeted Outreach team. So we see lots of people from different age groups from 13 years of age up until whenever is needed. <laughs> and um, it's easy for um, people to come in and um, access our service. We have a really good um, website where somebody can get a telephone number or there's an option where you can, you can get the Ask Swish, which um, in a word I can never say, anonymously, um, you can put your questions in and get an answer within, I think it's 24 hours, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, somebody will answer. Um, so the young people come to see me, um, mostly mostly girls for their contraception, and um, they need, um, whether they're a young person or an adult, you'll be seen alone because obviously the questions that we ask are extremely personal. Um, and then if it's contraception that's needed, um, you can be seen face to face or on the telephone, obviously de depending what contraception you need, then um, we can either post that to you now since COVID has been happening or um, see you face to face and give you that contraception, whether it's an in-palm fit or, or DAPA injection, whatever's needed. Um, for, for young people or, or adults as well, if they want to um, support from somebody else, like a carer, then they can have that support. But but it's always good that we see people alone initially for that talk. But then if they need that, that extra support, then that's OK. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so to say? contact our service and to get into our service, it's either going on the website and filling in the booking form or phoning up um, and the phone lines are open six days a week um, and you can also fill in the book form and somebody will email you back or ring you back um, and we've got clinics throughout Somerset obviously Somerset's quite a vast county we've got a hub in Taunton that's open six days a week and then we've got clinics in Bridgewater, South Petherton, Froome, Chard, Minehead, Wells, um, Yeovil, and I must be missing, I said Bridgewater. Bridgewater, Bridgewater we have clinic at the hospital as well as in um, Robert Blake as well. Um, and then we do outreach sessions and pop-up sessions in various locations as well um, through the team. So you can get full testing done there as well as contraception started as well, um, pick out condoms, um, and the testing kits we provide by post. 
um i really you can order them on our website and they come a little test kit with a if you complete it online the form's already completed and then you can do a self test for chlamydia gonorrhea hiv and syphilis so gonorrhea and chlamydia not knows no. yeah <laughs> not covid so gonorrhea and um, chlamydia take two weeks to show up after having sex with somebody whereas bloodborne viruses are tests um generally a three months hiv is a bit sooner 45 days but generally three months of bloodborne viruses to show up so our kit kits you can also bleed your finger and then pop it all back in a post and you get your t um, test results text to you um, about a week later and then if you need treatment you will talk to our lovely health advisor team and they will be able to arrange that treatment for you and partner notification as well and everything remains confidential and even um, when people come to us at swish that they're given a, a number which is separate from nhs number it's just completely um, a swish number which um, doesn't have to be shared with any other organizations or health organizations okay and if yeah and if you're under 16 and um, we deem you um uh, able to take on the information and understand the information we don't necessarily need to tell anyone else either um it would remain confidential between you and the health health team that you're seeing just change that camera back that's really interesting i didn't know that i had assumed that any kind of consultations that you have through swish would automatically be shared with the gp or your medical professionals but it stays completely confidential with Unless we're worried about anything that you say about yourself or something else. Yeah. It would have to be a, you know, a safeguarding issue, something that was concerning about their safe about your safety. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's com all confidential. Oh, that's interesting. Have you found, um, just purely out of interest, because of COVID and where people are struggling to get doctor's appointments now, do you find that they're coming to you more or less? Has it had an impact on your service at all? Um, I think we're finding more people are accessing the service. We're not really found a reduction in the numbers that we were seeing pre-COVID. I think we're seeing, um, if not slightly more, because they're finding it easier to access us because generally what we're doing is a phone consultation initially. And then if they need to be seen face to face, like Marina was saying with some of the contraceptive, we can send it out in the post and we can diagnose some STIs um, over the phone or send them out a test kit that they can do and then send them a treatment if that comes back as positive. So it's much easier to access the service now. Um, and so I think people are, are accessing it more um, than they were. And since COVID, we've also had PrEP rollout. So um, pre-exposure prophylaxis for HIV. So that's out now up and running free through the NHS. So we've had more people sign up to that and are coming in to get their PrEP treatment, um, which has been a really good move forward to prevent HIV. Mm, fantastic. And, and another thing I was thinking of when you were talking then with um, regards to contraception, are you guys able to advise um, girls on, on what sort of contraception is available because I imagine that's what's missing from having a GP consultation now as well if they're struggling to get an appointment. So so we make sure with that, um, any young person or, or adult that um, that they are aware of all contraception, all options so that they can make that informed choice themselves. Yeah. So, yeah. so we go through all of the Excellent. options and find one that's best for them, suits them because not everyone can remember a pill every day, but not everyone wants a coil. Implants don't work for everyone. So we go through all of the options and we offer all of the options um, apart from sterilization. Um, but we also use our website that's got lots of information on different methods um, and the new methods like say on a press, which is the injection that you can give yourself rather than having to come into clinic. But also we use SexWise as well, which is a really good national um, website that's got all the contraceptive methods and the advantages and disadvantages listed. Oh, fantastic. Good to know. <laughs> right, is there anything else, Maureen and Kerry, that you planned on sharing with us today? Or does that about cover kind of the service and, and what you provide? I think it's just um, making people aware that we are here um, we are a really non-judgmental service that you can get 
all methods of contraception and all STIs um, tested with us um, throughout Somerset. Um, and um, that, yeah, it's easy to access. Website's really good. Um, staff are amazing. And it's just, um, yeah, come in and see us if you need us. That's what we're here for. It's good to know, isn't it? I can imagine the stigma is what stops a lot of people accessing the service. Um, we have lots of professionals that watch these live streams, um, lots of our agents. We go out and meet people and it's very clear that there is still a very much a stigma attached around sexual health. Um, is there any way that us as professionals, we can support that the breaking down of that stigma and, and opening up that conversation or is it just a case of bringing it into everyday conversation? Yeah. yeah, I think it is just bringing it into everyday conversation. I mean, we talk about sex as our job to talk about sex, so we're quite comfortable. And I know that not everyone's comfortable about talking about sex, but I think if we look at our um, young people and the relationships they're having and or of any age, I think it's really good to be able to talk around because it's a big part of most people's lives. And I think it's just like you would go to the dentist, just like you go to the GP, you can come to a sexual health clinic. It should just be one of those things. If you're having sex, you get regularly checked. If you're having sex and you're female and you want to prevent pregnancy, then it's getting on the right method of contraception. And then there's an abundance of different methods. So it's not just that doesn't work for me. I've got no other options. There is other options out there. So I think it's just hopefully just about awareness and that we are here and we're really open and kind of get what's best for you rather than telling you what you should do. And with the young people, we especially give um, them the extra time. So it's not like, you know, 10 minutes and they go out with a pill. Um, you know, we make sure that they are aware of all the, well, and the, and the adults, but they're aware of all the options and that um, we can ask those questions around making sure that they're safe as well. For example, being safe online, or you know, any concerns if they're um, being exploited in a, in any way. So it's about sort of you know making sure that that young people and and um, adults as well are safe in our community. Mm. So I think we do give extra time, don't we, for them than a normal GP appointment That's time. Yeah. yeah. And did you say there was a lower age limit? Was it thirteen that you start seeing young people? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, a, that's a good age, isn't it? It goes alongside probably the education they're receiving at school and starting to think about relationships. I've got a 12 year old in the house, so I know well <laughs> how close we're creeping to that sort of age. <laughs> yeah, and it's about what where they get their information from, isn't it, at that age? Yeah, um, usually from their mates or in the playground, which isn't usually the best. Uh, <laughs> no, or even online. Yeah, I think exactly, it's um, yeah. so easy to access information these days, isn't it? On e on even sort of social media and TikTok and things like that. And it's about giving them the correct information. So parents, you know, even want some some support with, you know, having the right tools in their pocket for when, you know, they're young, their children or or um um young people people that they look after you know to know where to get the correct information is really important for adults as well so they can make sure their young people are <laughs> getting the right information perfect so that's something that adults and, and parents or somebody with a caring responsibility could speak to you guys about as well about the best way to kind of support your young people yeah yeah okay. oh that's good to know yeah perfect well, thank you so much, Marina and Terry, for joining us. Um, what I will do after the live stream has finished is I'll come back and pop your website in the, the comment section. I've had a look myself this morning. There's loads of lots of really good information on there. Um, so if anybody's watching this on replay and you want to go and check out the website, um, if you've got any questions, just get in contact with Swish. There's the website and a telephone number there. Um, and I'm sure you'll be more than happy to answer people's questions if they've got any. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.